okay so today I'm going to start a, a run through of the secret trails 2 mod which uh, which is merged with Adam Aurora for the visuals so I'm going to play that and see how it goes Да, сильно тебе по башке дали. Ну, наконец-то. А то я уж было решил, что ты не клемаешься. Okay, so this is basically the beginning of the game. Like, you wake up in Chernobyl and the story starts off. I'm just going to not going to allow uh, read it out loud. So basically, you wake up and. Yeah, basically it walks into an anomaly. Check something. Okay. So basically, I'm going to play this game with constantly, like a guy constantly open to m next to me since. There was also a new Dark Souls 3 gameplay, or not a new, but the first Dark Souls 3 gameplay trailer was released today. Which is very, very cool. Too bad it's still one year or something like that. So now basically, uh, we are go just so we just wake up and wo woke up in this bus, and now we're going to follow this guy through the dead city. The game looks really beautiful. Oh, our mod looks really beautiful beautiful with the autumn aurora shaders etc. Like I played it without shaders and it's also it looked also really nice. But this looks nicer. The only stupid thing will be a lot of hall tapping, so I probably should print the um, guide out when I have the chance. There is also a possibility that there these shares are not included in the base mod merge, but that I still have them on from the. Um, uh, EMK uh, Autumn Edition mod pack. The set one uses the shaders, so I just kind of left them on. It doesn't look like it's giving any problems, but we'll see. Kind of looking around to find some artifacts where I can. You 
can jump high however like look at this like a fucking kangaroo Turn my flashlight off. No, okay. Kind of said like a fireball would be nice since we need four fireballs for um, some guy. There's a certain amount of items you have to get for a few quests, so. I'm going to have to keep them on me all the time and no, don't sell them. I'll never try to sell them, sell them, cause it's going to give me a lot of problems. Shouldn't have done it. Okay. So the first, I played the first few quests. Like the first part runs into like the quest till you get to the monolith and after the monolith I kind of stop playing so I'm kind of excited to see what happens after monolith missions cause yeah I guess that ra it's a really big mod like sev uh, 7 gigs to extract which also uh, what is also a lot of fun is like it's a re complete new story. It's not the base story. Hello to the person that just came into the stream. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Feel free to say anything or ask anything. After the area is loaded, I'm going to quickly check my page and then try. No. Yeah, should check what uh, I'm going to have to do now. Okay, so he arrived at the forest. So now he gets to his house and we need to find the mandrake roots. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this mission with the you yeah, like you find root uh, ah the root under a rock. Yeah, right. I uh, remember there's also a stash up there, which I need to get. Not necessarily need to get, but it has a few supplies, which is going to be helpful on master difficulty. Take a bit of his food. I am also not going to l read uh, the story out loud to the person that's just viewing. Basically you arrived at the dead city at the moment of a blowout and you kinda warp into the future to say so.
So oh, also you play as Trelloc, the character you need to kill in the first game, which is ironically yourself, I think. Now we can get the quest to get man recruits. I'm just going to Oh, there's something just updated on... <coughs> oh, here is Gerald's just quickly updated. Okay, so now we have to find the man recruit. I'm just going to open my... And hello to the person that just popped into the stream. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Feel free to say anything about the chat. I'm just going to put my note block up so I do not forget any artifacts or other stuff I need to get for certain people in this mod basically so now we have to go to this area and fi find a man recruit I'm just going to try and get on uh, eh, on his attic in his attic to get some stuff that's up here, like there's a get up here with some better armor, so I do not need to give that arm scientific mercenary outfit. This is only an stalker outfit, so I do not need to uh, do not need to keep that. Okay. okay. It's already better than just your l regular suit. I'm just going to basically try and s work straight to it. When he gives you how? Like at the base mod, uh, he gives you a semi-auto shotgun. At least now he gives you a double barrel. Sort of. But the secondary is just pretty neat too. Which means I can free up my inventory for some 